to Islam in October of 2007. I was raised Catholic. I was very strict Catholic. I used to teach catechism. I was an altar server. I was very active in the church. I started having questions about life and I went to the church for my answers and I was met with a lot of resistance. I decided to take my time and learn about different religions. I studied Judaism, Hinduism, Taoism, Jainism, and eventually Islam. My life has been very different after coming to Islam. It's been one of the most beautiful things that could ever happen to me, but it has also brought its own fair share of hardships. My family does not accept Islam, therefore they don't speak with me. Uh, as a result of it, my, my family has taken my daughter from me. I, uh, I have suffered uh, loss, of, loss of my job. Uh, I, ca I can't attend school anymore because I'm not able to afford it financially. I, I was one of the top students in my school. It was an honor society. In life, nothing is stable. You can have money, you can have work, you can have family, you can have anything. And this can go like this, it can be gone. But religion is always the one stable thing that you have. So whenever you have any hardship or difficulty in life, you should go to your God. And going to the church and being told, well, that's the way it is, because God said so, we shouldn't question that, is something that's not acceptable for me. If I need answers, where am I going to find them? And being Catholic, that you believe that there's the Trinity, and that Jesus is the Son of God, and He's God, and when you can take your mind out of it and look at it, it doesn't make sense. But it's hard when, for so many years, this is your faith, and this is what you defend, and what you're, you're dedicated to, to take that step back and kind of be open-minded about it. It took time. I studied it for a long time. I had a lot of common misconceptions about what Islam was, you know, and the stuff from, uh, at one point, uh, you know, I, I hated Muslims. I thought all Muslims should die. I should die. I, that anyone who even resembled what a Muslim, in my mind, was, they, they should be why are they here? They should go back to their countries. They should, and the, uh, you know, the common uh, American idea of what Islam and Muslim is. Um, you know, but that was my own ignorance and you know, following the media. And there's a quote and I read often, uh, fear not the path of truth for the lack of people walking on it. Maybe you know this. And this, this is something that's, that's very powerful for me. Um, because it's okay if I walk through this life alone. It's okay if I have no family, if I have no friends, if I have the biggest house or if I have no house, if I have all the money in the world or if I have no money. It's okay because I have God. In the end, it, you know, it's very scary. In the Quran, it says that even the mother who's nursing her child, when the trumpet blows, she'll leave them. You won't know anybody. So in the end, you're alone. You have your God. So if I can work on my relationship here with coming closer to my God, then inshallah, inshallah, I see the Jannah one day. <laughs>